Sagittarius welcome back to the channel with me OU with another channel tarot card message for you we are gathered for some channel tarot card messages today we're gonna see what the universe has to say using the gold universal tarot see what messages we could channel through the cardomancy I think I've gotten enough vitamin D today <laughs> been detox the nose is starting to run a shower this morning as well it's time to go get some good lunch here who are we on Sagittarius yep the journey of the day right the journey of the second the journey of the minute the journey of the hour we're always going through some sort of a journey time is a precious commodity they would say let's get into it though let's see four of wands yeah the home life Maybe you're, um, so this could be a new home here. Four of Wands typically symbolizes foundations, right? Some sort of a structure. It also coincides with the people that you share that structure with, typically a relationship uh, or a family or friends. We will see this card, or this is known as the Twin Flame card in the um, tarot, meaning that there's a strong connection coming towards you. It could be very triggering very uh anxiety inspiring it depends mm -hmm. sometimes people see a spectacle and they run towards it sometimes people see a spectacle and they run from it which person are you do you create destiny or do you let other people create destiny for you eight of swords here contemplation here stuck in your thoughts here mm, running ideas of a relationship over and over in your head could be toxicity or a bad situation that happened recently we have the full card jumping out the window right getting into an argument or a fight and immediately leaving here hiding the emotions or being emotionally triggered here this would be nurturing energy here the moon card mm -hmm. piscean major arcana could have been something that happened at nighttime around a bunch of people as well we have all these animals looking around here yeah, someone, something was highlighted or something was illuminated here. We have an eclipse here. The sun came out right after the moon. I like the holographic, man. I got to get more of these foil cards, especially when I'm out channeling in the middle of the day. Right? That was the whole thing. When I used to uh, collect and sell Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the most money I would make is when I would build decks that would have, that were full were rare and unique and holographic cards, right? This is back in high school selling holographic and first edition decks for $100, $200. That was nothing to me. Uh, even after I left school, man. <laughs> even after I graduated, I, the, the legacy of my name still prevailed throughout the underclassmen, man. Even middle schoolers. I had middle schoolers come into my house, knocking on my door, asking me for cheat codes to video games. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, to be that guy having people lined up at the arcade, grown men twice my age, whooping the hell out of their ass. <laughs> memories. Four of Swords, yeah, right, memories, <laughs> flashbacks, <laughs> thinking about the past, right? An eclipse, an aha moment, right? A revelation, spiritual awakening. Someone has a gift, someone has a talent or a skill, they had just have to reach back and uh, bring it forth. Mm -hmm. This could be dreams. This could even be uh, someone learning about uh, esoteric knowledge and occultism, astral traveling. Yeah. I would say there's no such thing as stupid questions, but people ask stupid questions all the time. There's also stupid answers for stupid questions, right? Is what a supervisor would say, right? A king of pentacles. <laughs> An asshole. A strong earth sign, right? Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Because Virgos can see the details in everything. <laughs> Taurus is like, okay, why wasn't this done before, before you brought this to me, right? Empress energy, similar to Libra. <laughs> and Capricorn is like, your boss is always going to ask you why you fucking up. You always have to answer to someone. Shit rolls downhill. Your boss is getting yelled at by his boss and your boss's boss is getting yelled at by your boss's boss this is why you're getting yelled at right <laughs> right this is why you create your own business and become your own boss and you make the rules right strength that's where your strength lies here leo major arcana. that's a lot of major arcanas here 
we have the major arcana for uh, magician aries and gemini energy there's a lot of communication going on here what is the message however this could be traveling or spectating you could have people watching you yeah yeah they're spectating you they see you as some sort of a spectacle right that's what we started the reading as or was that the last reading these re readings are starting to blend together right someone's viewing you as a spectacle right they're literally watching you look at this shit they like look at this look at this i don't even think they're looking at this person down here so you could probably have children but this is you they like look at his son <laughs> possibly wanting to travel the world as well yeah the sun's been moving over the past couple hours so the, the shade is different not sure how the lighting is going but it looks weird to me on my end i'm a perfectionist let me stop Four on top of four. Four of cups comes out on top of four of swords. Now, this is kind of like how someone's looking for something. Now, this would be turning away or um, not being uh, emotionally attached. This is resting, right? It could be seen as pregnancy. Sometimes I see this pair as someone, um, they're settling or they're, they're resting their thoughts and their emotions on something in particular. This could be contemplation, right? Trying to get their emotions together. Trying to get their thoughts together. Uh, what's grounding the reading? Uno mas. Four of wands. Yeah. Someone wanting to come towards you with a relationship. Possibly a truth. All right. We have five major arcanas. So this is the revelation. You could have a Pisces or a Leo coming towards you. Or someone coming towards you with some sort of a secret here. Or someone that has a very subtle... Like... They look subtle, but they have a large presence here. King of Pentacles energy here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially with that double four. Four of swords and four of wands. They give off very passive energy here. But they're a master manifester. Strong energy, strong presence. A lot of fiery energy here. Three fire signs. Leo uh, shows up in the strength. And then Aries shows up in the magician and the fool card. So a strong manifester. They're a leader and they don't mind taking leaps forth or kicking down barriers they manifest things for themselves we could be dealing with an entrepreneur or a content creator all right some sort of a magician yeah it looks like they're more focused on their finances so i was trying to see if this was like a politician of if, if i feel uh politics here which i would have seen in the swords but since it's pentacles this person is more worried about grounding possibly yeah their business their success and their families and that sort of thing tangibles that's what i have for you here today like share subscribe add value to the channel catch you guys on the next one peace